from the medial side there is this artery running down this artery will also participate in this anastomosis on the dorsum of the scapula now this artery is dorsal scapular artery this dorsal scapular artery is not always present the important point it's a branch of subclavian artery it arises behind that muscle sclenius anterior because that's the muscle which divides subscapular artery into three parts so dorsal scapular artery is an occasional branch from the second part of subclavian artery but because it's not always present so in case if it's not there right it will be replaced by another artery and that is called deep branch of transverse cervical artery this transverse cervical artery is also a branch of thyrocervical trunk given out from the first part of subclavian so there's an option between these two arteries which will run along the medial border of the scapula and don't forget that this artery will be accompanied by a nerve of similar name and that is dorsal scapular nerve this nerve and vessels they will be running deeper to the three muscles it innovates right levator rhomboidus minor rhomboidus major that means they